We're back from our efforts in Ukraine, and we wanted to give you a quick update on what we are planning and what we are taking care of now that we're back. As with the normal tourniquet, you will put it in place two to three inches above the wound. We've partnered up with Durham College Foundation to, to have our own charity so we can give you tax receipts. And we've also partnered up with Sunnybrook Hospital and the Government of Canada to get the medical supplies, the high-grade medical supplies that we require to make our kits. Each kit is $150 and it includes uh, one tourniquet, one chest seal, one quick clot gauze, which has a special substance in it that clots the blood. It's, it's a military grade gauze and two Israeli bandages. There, there's also a pair of medical shears, um, gloves and a uh, marker. And the marker is so that you can write the person's information, name, uh, they're most likely when they're bleeding out, they're gonna go unconscious. So you need to be able to write down if you have their blood type and whatever else um, on their body so that when they get to uh, paramedics or a hospital, they can be treated on properly with what they need. These bags just arrived for second front in Warsaw. Now we're doing another 2000 in blood clotting gauze. These are Israeli bandages. They're called casts. On average, there are still about 500 people a day that are getting injured. And on average, there are about 20 people that are still dying every day. So we want to focus on those 500 people that are getting injured to make sure that they have emergency mm. medical supplies on hand that they can use. And mm. just so you know, a person bleeds out within three to five minutes after they've been shelled, missiled, bombed. Mm. Within those three to five minutes, it is crucial to be able to get your hands on these medical emergency supplies mm. that only an ambulance carries around. Mm. And of course, in Ukraine right now, there's just not enough of it going around. One soldier that gets a salary would get one medical kit for him or herself. Mm. And that is, does not include the 500 people that are getting injured every single day on the front lines. Mm. That doesn't include being able to help somebody else. Sometimes you need two tourniquets just to be able to save one life, one leg, one arm. Mm. This is why we are so focused on this. And if we have any extra money left after the 375,000 goal that we have right now, um, we will be using it. We have medical lists from hospitals of supplies that they need. Uh, we would be using it for the hospitals where children are coming in after being raped and wounded. So we got to make sure that we get as much donation as possible. That's why we can give you a tax receipt. Have my own. I got my own um, cat tourniquet from uh, Stop the Bleed here in Canada. Uh, we've been working with some amazing people, Diana, uh, Lucas, Celeste, on educating people on how to stop the bleed. So that's gonna be part of our uh, mission, is to educate people on how to use this medical supplies and then also supplying these medical supplies. Thank you so much and please take a look at the links below. And if you have any questions, you can always reach us. Uh, my Instagram is at the VLL Puro. Um, if you would like to reach me through my YouTube channel, you're welcome to do that as well. Um, we are available in any way, shape or form that you need us. And uh, please don't be afraid to ask us any questions that you need. Give a donation and save a life.